So I'm in an interesting place with Battletech right now. For the first time in a long time, and we're going to fix this problem immediately, all my stuff is painted. I've made it through all my mechs. I've worked on some terrain, a couple of tokens, some gaming accessories. I'm ready to go. So I'm looking at that next batch of mechs. And certainly if you looked across my collection, I do have some Steiner lances, but you'd think, well, Fritz, this guy regularly plays House Steiner because there is a focus, of course, on assault mechs and heavy mechs and the heavier and medium mechs. And it's not to say I don't have light mechs, but we're going to focus on light mechs, acquisition of light mechs, and I'm going to be specifically looking at mechs that are not in my collection. And I'm going to be approaching the Tactica from the perspective of you put this mech down in front of me, literally, I open up that salvage box, that surprise box, and, and here's the mech. How would I begin approaching it? Now, of course, a few of these mechs I have faced on the table numerous times, so I have an idea of what they can do, and I can't necessarily separate that from the Tactica, but I think this is going to be an interesting exercise for the next couple of mechs, and we're also going to move into some mediums because there are a couple of mediums that I have my eye, my eyes on that I want to acquire. But asking this question, what makes this mech special? How does it operate? What role would it fulfill in the lance? And then see if that matches up with my play style. See if that matches up with your play style and uh, at least build that collection list ready to go. Okay, so this mech, it's well known, the flea. I, I think of it as the Battletech Universe's ATST. Low battle value for what it what you're buying. It's coming in at about 500 battle value. That's for a mech with the weapons that it can bring to the table, the potential. Right away, I'm, I'm very, very intrigued with it, although the design is a little bit boxy. This mech, what's interesting on this mech is the time period, of course, when you're going to be playing it, if it's an open time period. This mech is special because it is only possible, it is only possible Due to the tech level of the game at the time, you're packing a lot of high-level tech on a light mech. So right away, compared to some, some of the more well-known inner sphere mechs, like I, I love the Locust, play it, have them. It's, it's a step above some of these mechs, simply because for the battle value and the time period and the weapons combined, it's, it's very, very potent. So we're jumping in, and this is stock, two medium pulse lasers, a flamer, and two small lasers. So what this, this shows me just on the weapon side, and you can't just look at the weapon side, you have to look at um, the internals, the tonnage, and the capability. But on the weapon side, we, we have a little tiny mech that has tremendous firepower potential. Um, the pulse lasers alone, you have two of them. They're mediums. That's effective against light mechs. That's effective against medium mechs. That's effective against vehicles. So right there, being able to engage vehicles potentially one-on-one, -on -one, light mechs one-on-one, -on -one, or medium mechs with some support, because look, the flea is a light mech, that's, that's got bite above and beyond light mechs. Now then we're working on the flamer and the small lasers. That's got some additional bite at close range, um, useful against infantry, useful against lighter vehicles. So I see a mech right away that can really attach itself to a lance or work very, very well in city fight, city tech. Now we boost the speed. It has that tech, right? We're looking, it's got the mask. So potentially you can boost that uh, outside of recon missions, using it directly in combat opens up all sorts of fun shenanigans. And at a low battle value, you know, some of the, um, the higher echelon clan tech mechs and clan mechs that have the that have the mask, you pop it off once, you're okay, but you continue to do it. You're like, do I want to blow the whole battle value on this? Well, the battle value is so low on the flea, not that I want to expend it and have the legs rip off, but you can be a little bit more aggressive. So taking three or four fleas for the battle value, boosting them, boosting them behind enemy mechs for rear armor or vehicles for you know rear shot, non-hull down, opening up with those pulse lasers, that's, that's really, really interesting. That has a lot of potential for a lot of fun. Okay, the switchover, though. 
This is where I see um, the biggest drawback of the flea. It's a light mech. It's lightly armored. You know, it's ATST. The weapons for it, we're going to have to have tremendous discipline. And I, I say this because I know myself. I see those weapons and I'm already getting excited. And I'm already thinking about boosting, a turbo boost, right? And all this type of stuff. But in exploring that, understanding and realizing it's still a light mech. If I go toe-to-toe with a medium, I'm going to get smoked. If I go toe-to-toe with some of the, um, even the older tech, non-clan restored uh, mechs like a, like a Jenner, it's going to bite back. There are light mechs that have that bite back. And I'm going to put the hurt on them. They're going to put the hurt on me. Do I just want to exchange one mech for another, one initiative for another, some battle value for another? No. I see this mech much like the Firestarter, um, not so much in a specialized role, but Firestarter weapons with the lasers and stuff, it, it, it's hev- it's, it has the fire output of some medium mechs. The flea has the firepower of some medium mechs, but we don't have the armor. And we need to be a little bit conservative. We need to be a little bit um, aware of that because it will be very easy to get in over our heads. The tactical way to use the boost would be if you get yourself in trouble, get out of there, preserve battle value, preserve battle value and preserve um, not losing an initiative sink. But the Fritz way is, look, I'm going to like take a bunch of these and just like swarm you and mug your Atlas and just take you down with a bunch of fleas. I mean, that would be kind of um, very, very interesting. So looking to absolutely, the first on my list here to um, acquire for its tactical strength and for the lulls is the flea. And I could see it coming in probably on four. Normally when I purchase a new mech, if it's one that I'm going to use in a group, I'll do two. But I say four because the tech level on this, um, we're not going to be using it inner sphere early succession because it, it, the Dragoons don't exist yet. They're not there. But later when we mix and match tech, um, it's going to generally play at a higher battle value. So that 510 battle value stock for the flea is going to come down even more. You know, if you're playing, not that there's a standard battle value of battle tech, but if I'm playing 8 to 10K for this tech period, easily fielding four of these, uh, literally a, a lance or almost a star from that perspective, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. So I think I see myself going in with four of these, and we'll do a little bit of modeling, we'll do a little bit of of um, posing, might even go as far as to paint up a little bit of infantry. I've got a couple of extra um, infantry stands, maybe put a few up with um, in white battle armor. We'll see how that goes. But the flea, absolutely very, very interesting and the first on my list to acquire.